alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, for tonight's main event. Scheduled for 12 rounds in the lightweight division. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. The Dream's confidence is really showing through as he makes his way to the ring. His focus is front and center as he makes his way to the ring right now. at all time. Let's touch him up. 36 minutes still ahead of him here. Round one of 12. Just not there. Straight right hand off the mark. Little head hunting with the left. Fires right back at him. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. The Dream's got a sting of that big, powerful hook. That could set up things to come there, that jab by the Dream. Halfway through this round. A good block. The Dream's making for a tough target there. He's away from that punch. A crafty counter punch after a fine defensive effort by the Dream. Committing now to the left hand, good straight shot. Good way to protect the midsection. He digs in with a left hand to the body. Ten seconds to go in this round. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. Focus. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell 
that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning not against enough. the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive. You know that he had a good round. Here we go. Round two is underway. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counterpunch. Well, the old times used to say when you calm in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Good defense, just covering up down low. Still not moving enough. Boo, boo. Not able to land the headshot. Super two punch combo by the dream. Good defensive skill. Halfway through round number two. The dream's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Very effective with the block and then the score. Got to try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. Very nice defensive guard there. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Final 10 seconds. Just move around. You gotta move your hands in there. Let's go. Don't fight his fight. Jab and move. You gotta watch the water in the corner. Too much. Okay. Beautiful. Nice movement. We got it. Nice. Keep it up. Keep moving. All we need is water up there, and that's it. You don't need that. Throw that away. And round number three is underway. Blocks that belt line well. Able to cover up that gut. Wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. See, that's some fine defense right there. I love that block by the dream. Up. 
The Dream's punch is far off the target. Just off the mark with that punch. Keep on your butt. Move! 90 seconds to go here in this round. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Keep moving! Keep moving! The last thing either guy wants to be here, Teddy, is one-dimensional. The last thing you want to be in anything to be successful is one-dimensional. I mean, if you're a comedian, you don't want to be saying the same jokes all the time. Your crowd's not going to be there. Well, your opponent is going to be there all night long if you do the same thing. Nice block by the Dream. And he ties up on the inside. Oh, God. Headbutt, headbutt. Move your head. Levante la cabeza. You can see he's the dream's almost out of it there. He was stunned. He goes from damaged goods to defensive goods. Yeah, because right now he's fighting on instinct. He's doing things without even thinking. Just automatic things. Things that he was taught five years ago, three years ago, that maybe he thought about, but he didn't do. Now they're just coming out. He's just naturally surviving. Body and head. Body and head. Double with your body punches. With that head. Beautiful. You gotta bring it to him, kid. We're not winning this fight right now. Let's turn this around. Get close to him, hook to the body, uppercut. It's there for you, all right? Listen to him. The Dream's pitching a shutout right now on Teddy's scorecard. First three rounds all going on his side of the ledger. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Really frustrating his opponent now. The Dream's so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't. And it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. And he's holding. Good. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Solid straight right hand. Now he ties up there. He missed with that headshot. Halfway through round number four. That's a nice right hand that time by the Dream. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs.
step back, then the counter punch by the Dream. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back hey, with the counter. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. A little something of his own. Blocks the shot, brings back the uppercut. Crashes home with the uppercut. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds. A round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy. He's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't. He's chomping at the bit. He's confident. Number five has arrived. He just missed that shot up top. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. What a big shot. He got smashed that time. Now we're going to find out how strong a guy he is. Not physically. Can he get up? One, two, three, four, five. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. He just got rocked moments ago. He was the one hurting his opponent. Reminds you of this song, I can do anything you can do, only better. Keep moving. Time. Time. Now hugging on the inside. Halfway into round number five here. The Dream's knowledge of the game is... Wow, what a turnaround. You never know what's going to happen in this game. You're never supposed to take anything for granted, never assume anything. They tell you that in life. In the ring, you get taught that real fast. He got caught by a big shot. The Dream's really making some boxing purists out there put a smile on their face because his defense has been stellar. I mean, so fundamentally sound. Yeah, well, that's why he always goes rounds, and that's why people think he has an iron chin. I don't know if he has an iron chin because the chin never gets touched. He's a guy that's always going rounds because his defense is so good. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. One, two, one, two. The dream's proving to be elusive. Move your head. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Missed the body shot. That was a great round we just right. saw, Teddy. And that, this is why I'm glad I do my job, not yours. You have to try to score that round. Yeah, I have to score it, but they have to figure out why they both got shaken up and make sure it doesn't happen again. Close round, but the good news, more to come for our audience. All right, deep breath. Get some water. You're good. You're okay. Breathe for me. Now listen, you threw a white punch and he caught you. Right? 
He seems fully recovered to me. Here we are, the start of a new round, and a fighter that got tagged hard in the last round seems as fresh as could be. Well, when you push a fighter, when you push a human being to a dark place, that's when you're going to find out what's bright inside of them, what's great inside of them. And he's responding just that way. The dream's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. He's all over the place. I mean, he's missing punches. Yeah, he's throwing punches, but he's missing just about everything he throws. Well, we look up top. You know, we look at the punches going away. They're going left, they're going right, they're going all over the place. But look downstairs. His feet are not set. He's all over the place. And guess what? The punches follow where his feet are. Left and right, left and right. Atta boy. <laughs> The Dream's showing you a little defensive skill there. Able to move away from that punch. Pace yourself! Reaching the halfway point of round number six. The Dream's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Still not moving enough. Move, way back there. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own a left hand scores. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Like what I see in there. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. I'm so hooked. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. The Take Dream's been able to avoid having any of his opponent's headshots landing flush. And what his opponent has to do, Joe, is make an adjustment. What we used to tell the fighters, when a guy's elusive like this fighter is right now, you have to shorten your punches up. Shorten them up a little bit, have less space to travel. They have a better chance of getting to that elusive target. Had in that round, we're in control. Next round, let's keep busy. You gotta watch the water. You have to corner. start throwing more in volume in there. Over the hump, the back end of the fight now begins. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Keep moving! Keep moving! Back to the body. And now he's targeting upstairs. There it is! This is gonna take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down.
down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. At the halfway point of round seven. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Took a go of it to the box, came up empty. The Dream's showing that he has an understanding about balance, about angles, about footwork. What does his opponent need to understand to deal with it? Well, he has to figure out a way to take the air out of those tires. Give him a couple flats, that's what he's got to do. And there's no better way to give a guy a flat than to go to that body. Final moments of this round. Go, oh, time. He's got nothing left, okay? Just go for the head. Knock him out. Get done. Night long. This is your fight. You are in the Okay, now, come on, you can do this, you can do this. I need another round for you. I need you to be busy this round, all right? Teddy's scorecard shows the dream's up, no doubt about that. The past few rounds we've seen, he has just extended his lead. He has gained all momentum in this fight. Yeah, he's very confident. He's got everything working. Oh, things opened up, and he was able to place the right hand well. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitcher, great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. One, two, three, four, five. And it's over. This fight is over. The Dreams in prime form. Power surge here. Knockout winner. That's what you want to see, a guy who can close the show and finish with style. He ends up a knockout victor tonight. And that's what his trainer wanted. His trainer was even telling him, step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible, and they got it. That does it from ringside. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us.